Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs, and it's that time of year when you may be thinking about upgrading your crafting experience and considering getting a Cricut Explore. But as you're looking at the different Black Friday ads or looking online, you're trying to figure out what's up with this? Why are there so many different Cricut Explore machines and why would I pick one over another? So I wanted to put together this quick video for you showing you all three of the diff there's three different kinds of the Cricut Explore. There's the Cricut Explore Original, which is the very first one that came out. Then there's the Cricut Explore Air, and there is the Cricut Explore One. So let's get started, and I'm going to talk to you about each of the three different types of Cricut Explore, and hopefully that'll help you make a better buying decision when you get ready to purchase. So let me show you the Cricut Explore Original. That's the very first one. Okay, so what I'm showing you here is the original Cricut Explore, and you can tell that it's the original one because it has the green trim on it, all right? So what I'd like to do first, though, is talk about the, the things that are the same on all three kinds of Cricut Explore, all right? So all three of them have this nice, sleek um, look to them. They're exactly the same size, so there's no size difference. Um, they both have, they all three of them have a cup holder up here for you to store your tools in. They also have, right here is the port slot where you see my finger, <laughs> um, and this is where you would put your Cricut cartridges in to link them to your Cricut.com account, which then links to your Design Space account. All three of them use the Cricut Design Space software, so all of that is exactly the same. They, all three of them also you have the exact same smart dial, smart cutting system, okay, which the smart dial system is where you can easily um, select what material is that you're cutting, and uh, let's say on the dial it says paper, vinyl, iron-on, light cardstock, cardstock, fabric, poster board, and then there is a custom setting, and under custom setting there's another, I don't know, 50 or more um, custom materials that you can cut with your Explorer, so all of those are exactly the same on all three machines. Um, they each have a opening button that open, automatically opens up the lid, all right, and then on the inside of the machine, you ha on all three of them, you also have your tool tray, so down here you have a spot for you to keep um, extra blades, okay, they all three come with the um, Cricut German Carbide Premium Blade, which is a blade made specifically for the Cricut Explore machines so that it uh, gives you the most accurate cutting. And the, all three of them cut the same. They, they all have the precision cutting and uh, give you great results with that. Um, there's this tray is also storage for um, the deep cut blade. All three of the machines, if you would like a deep cut housing blade, this is sold separately. And this is a, you want to make sure you get the black housing blade, okay? And um, it has a blade depth that is longer so that when you're cutting thicker materials like um, chipboard or things like that, you would have a blade that would be deep enough so all three of the machines you would um, use that you can use the deep cut blade like I said sold separately and all uh, two of them the Cricut Explore and the Cricut Explore Air use the same um, accessory holder and we'll talk about that in a moment all right and this is just a spare one that I have and they all three have the tool tray, okay? So here you would find, now it doesn't come with these tools, you have to purchase these separately, but this is a tray where you can store your um, weeding tool, your scissors, your spatula, some tweezers, and your scraper tool, so that if you want to keep these things out of sight, you are able to store those. So all three of the machines 
have all of these same features, all right? Now, with the Cricut Explore, with the original, it has the CutSmart um, system, and it has the two dual heads, okay? You'll hear people say one has du dual heads and the other one only has one head. The Cricut Explore and the Cricut Explore Air both have the dual heads. What does that mean? The B side is the blade housing, so this is where your blade is, and um, this is where um, you would leave this in your machine until you're going to change the blade out, okay? Or you would put the um, deep cut blade housing in here if you were going to switch to the other uh, blade housing, all right? And now this side is the A side, and this is where your accessory holder goes, and this is where you would use the score tool, okay, so that you're able to score. Now notice with this, you would be able to score and then it would make a pass and it would also cut out your image. So think of it like this, like a card. A card would have a score line down the middle so you would fold it, right? So with the Cricut Explore and the Cricut Explore Air, they have the dual heads. So you would, it would, the machine would be able to score that line and then go back and cut the out the shape of that uh, card out in the same pass, okay? So you wouldn't have to switch anything out. Now, this accessory holder is also where you put the Cricut Explore pins. Okay, so the Cricut Explore pins um, go in this housing and there is a mark here, a little arrow, and you would push this in until you hear it click, okay, and now your pin is ready. So with the Cricut Explore and the Cricut Explore Air, you would be able to then write and then cut out at the same time, okay? So the reason why I'm telling you this is that there will be a difference when we look at the Explore 1, all right? Now, with the Explore, the original Explore, it does not, ha it does not have built-in wireless. But it does have the option for you to have a Cricut wireless adapter, which is a separate purchase. So if you wanted to have a wireless machine, um, let's say you have a wireless computer, you have a wireless printer, you want to be able to use your iOS devices like your iPad or your um, iPhone and cut from the apps, the Cricut Design Space apps to your machine, you would need it to be wireless, okay? So, if you have the Cricut Explore original, or you purchase an original Cricut Explore, you would probably want to get the separate adapter, and they're usually anywhere from $30 to $50, depending upon where you get them and if they're on sale, all right? So once you apply this, there's a slot here on the side of your machine that that goes in, then that makes your original Cricut Explore a wireless machine, okay? So that is... The, that is what the Cricut Explore, the original green one that you can still purchase, uh, is available. All right. Now we're going to switch out, and we're going to. I'm going to show you the Cricut Explore Air, so you can see the difference with that one. Okay, and now you see me back here with my Cricut Explore Air. Mine happens to be a blue, it has a blue uh, model, and which means it's just the blue trim, okay? There are other colors of Cricut Explore Air uh, because different companies released, um, different vendors for Cricut release different colors, okay? So Anna Griffin has a gold one. It's the same machine as this, the Cricut Explore Air. It just has gold trim instead of the blue here and the blue trim on the sides, it's gold. There's also a different color of blue that uh, Leah Griffin uh, released. And um, anyway, so if it says Cricut Explore Air, this is the machine that it's talking about. Now you'll notice mine has, it doesn't come with this, all right? I just didn't want to confuse anyone. This is an actual Cricut printable file that I printed on the Cricut printable vinyl, and then I colored it in, and it cut, my Cricut cut it out for me using the print and cut feature, 
and um, and then I applied it to this. So it does not come with this, just so you know. Now, the Cricut Explore Air on the front of the machine does say Cricut Explore Air instead of just Cricut Explore like the other one, all right? So Cricut Explore Air. Now, you'll notice it's the same size. It has the same tool cup here. It has the same port here. It has the same smart set dial over here. It opens up the same. The inside looks the same, okay? It also has the dual heads so that you're able to cut and able to score and write and cut at the same time. It also has the storage tray and it has the tool tray, okay? The only difference between this and the original Cricut Explore is that this one already has the built-in wireless. So there, you don't have to buy a separate adapter. It's already built into this machine, all right? Gives you the same great cutting as the other, as the Cricut Explore does. It is um, probably, if you were going to purchase a Cricut Explore machine right now, I would strongly recommend that you get the Cricut Explore Air just because you don't have to have a separate adapter and everything's already built in so there's no other uh, functionality that you would need. And it gives you the most flexibility. It's kind of like the, the Cadillac of the Cricut Explorers right now. All right, so that is the Cricut Explore Air and the difference between that and the Cricut Explore is just that the wireless is built into this one. Okay, everything else is the same. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to show the Cricut Explore 1 because there are some differences with the Explore 1 that you need to see. Okay, and now we're back with the Cricut Explore 1, and you'll notice here it does say Cricut Explore 1 on the front of the machine. It also is exactly the same size as the Cricut Explore and the Cricut Explore Air. It also has the cup holder here, and it has the port for linking your Cricut cartridges, and it has the smart set dial, all right? It is um, the original Cricut Explore 1 that when it came out was gray, and there are other colors that you can find of this. Um, different uh, vendors that are working with Cricut have offered different colors. So there, I know that there's a pink and there's a navy and I think there's a couple of other colors. A uh, coral color, I believe. Anyway, so same thing. You're going to open it up. It has the automatic opening just like the other two machines. All right. But now's when we're going to see a difference here. You, oh, I'm sorry. You also still have the same storage tray and you have the same tool drawer tray, okay? But with the Explore 1, you're going to notice it only has the one cutting head, okay? Now, what does this mean? It means, does it mean that it cuts any differently? No, it is still a cut smart system. It cuts beautifully just like the other two Cricut Explorers. It is your lower price point Cricut Explore machine. So if you uh, are, if price is more, if you're more sensitive to the price, then you might want to consider the Cricut Explore 1, all right? Um, now, it has the same smart set dial, everything else is the same, same size, everything, but except for it does not have the dual head. But Cricut's given you an option here, so there again, you would open this up and you would be able to remove the blade housing just like you did in the other. You could put the um, deep cut blade housing in here if you would like. But if you wanted to cut, if you wanted to write or you wanted to score with the Cricut Explore 1, you would need to have a Cricut Explore 1 accessory adapter and pin set, all right? So some of the machines, if you depending upon where you buy them, are going to come with this with it. Others are just selling the machine and you're not getting this adapter, all right? You want this adapter. So if it doesn't come with it, make sure you pick this up if you decide to go with the Explore 1. Okay, I'm going to pop this out. All right, this is the adapter. It fits into your holder here where your blade, where I just pulled the blade out and then you would close it, all right? And then you would be able to use the Cricut scoring tool in here if you if you liked, okay? Or, let me put that back in, 
okay? Or you could use a Cricut Explore pen in it, okay? So you could put the pen in it. Same thing, you would close it up and it's good to go. The difference here between the Explore and the Explore Air is obviously the dual is that it only has a single head. So that means that you cannot score and then cut in the same pass. You would have to take every time you wanted to score and write, you would have to take out the blade housing, put in the accessory holder and switch out either the, the score tool or the pen, let it do its pass, whether it's scoring or writing, then take it out again, take the accessory holder out, put the blade back in, and then let it continue let it continue working on your project all right so it's a little bit less functionality of being able to do it at the same time but you still get to d use both the score tool and the writing feature that is what is so popular about the Cricut Explore machines along with the fact that it has the same cutting mechanism and cuts all 60 of the materials just as beautifully as it does with the Cricut Explore and Cricut Explore Air. All right. Now, the other thing is this machine also is not um, wireless. Okay. It is not wireless. However, it has, a, it has the adapter spot on the side, just like it did with the Explore, the original Explore, where you would put that adapter in the machine. Okay, so here's the adapter. So you would need to purchase one of these if you wanted to make your Cricut Explore 1 a wireless machine, all right? And it would go over here in the slot just like just like it does in the Explore original, okay? That is those are the differences between the three machines so that then you can make a better decision, price point, value, um for the price differences that I'm seeing during the uh, Black Friday sales, I would probably just buy an Explorer Air because that's going to be your best bet. Plus, um, if you're really going to use the, fu the true functionality of working with the Explorer, um, being able to score and write at the same time that it's cutting kind of helps make a difference uh, time-wise when you're working on your projects. Now, if you don't see yourself ever scoring or writing, then the Explore 1 may be the perfect thing for you. Or, if you maybe you're just going to cut vinyl. Maybe you're just a vinyl person and you really don't see yourself um, cutting paper very much or wanting to write on paper or score on paper and so forth. Then the Explore 1 might be a good choice for you if you're really just going to be cutting vinyl or other materials and you won't be writing or scoring. So... Those are the differences between the three machines. I hope that this clears this up for you. Um, please leave me a me comment or a message on this video. If you have any other questions, I'm happy to help you help answer those. Now, I have a little bit more news to share with you that may help you with your purchasing decision. Okay, now as you can see, all three of the machines are the exact same size. They have this, oh, very many of the same functionality. Uh, with each other, but you saw the couple of differences that I pointed out for you. So it's really a matter of which one's going to work best for what you want and also what is your budget. Now to help you with your budget, I wanted to share with you that at Cricut.com right now during the Black Friday sales um, through December, gosh I think December 15th actually, even past Black Friday, um, they have all of the Cricut Explore machines bundled up with other Cricut supplies that you would need to get started with your Cricut. And they're offering $50 off the, the price, plus right now they have a door buster coupon code you could use. The, do the whole word door busters with an S, all caps, and it'll give you an additional 10% off of your purchase. Plus you get free shipping in the United States if you pick the home delivery under the FedEx option when it asks you about shipping your 
product. Now that 10% applies in the free shipping applies to anything else you purchase at Cricut.com until December the 15th. So feel free to use that. Um, there are some great new products that have come out from Cricut, more cutting materials. Um, just today they released a um, a foil adhesive foil product that's really cool there's five different colors of that there's more colors of the Cricut um, vinyl that have come out there are uh, washi sheets there's of course you want some mats there's uh, the deep cut blade housing you need a score tool um, there's all of those things available at Cricut.com right now at marked down wonderful prices um, iron-on vinyl, you name it, it's out there if you want to go take a look at that. But if you're considering purchasing a machine or maybe your family's thinking about getting you one, make sure you share the, share the link with them that I will put in the description of this video and the doorbuster code so that you get the most bang for your buck, okay? And I hope this is helpful. Like I said, leave me a message if you have any questions. Um, and I will be happy to answer those, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Talk to you later. Bye.